We have Naruto Storm 4 online matches for your enjoyment, guys. These are going to be really high-level Heavy Sasuke matches. I'm going to be playing as Heavy Sasuke White Robe with Itachi. And as you can see there, that most amazing switch on the ground to counter him. I really miss the tilt in this game. I really miss the parries and the amazing things that you can do in this game. I don't miss the slow sluggish nature of the game. Nice dash stop, but not quite nice enough. You can see there that this is probably about an 8.2 or 8.5, maybe 8.3 out of 10 in terms of connection, but it is solid. So we're gonna be able to do a lot here. We're not gonna be able to go full out, full out, but Yes, you're going to see what mastering this Sasuke looked like at some level. Did you see that tilt into Fireball, guys? You're going to see some of the most amazing, most beautiful, most fantastic high-level gameplay at around an 8, 8.5. Uh, what does that mean? That means I have a certain amount of options and a lot of options are taken off the table, but you're going to see me fight a very strong player, but this is not a top 500 player in my opinion for Storm 4. Absolutely not. He might be somewhere between 500, ranked 500 and 1,000, or maybe 1,000 and 1,000, and maybe, probably, he's probably like maybe between 1,000 and 3,000 or something like that, right? There's a lot of good Storm 4 players, a lot more than connections because the game is older, has bigger fan base, a lot of people that take the game seriously. And this is crazy how I did a jail here in the corner using wall physics. I, I just wish I didn't. I'm actually really so free and having so much fun here that I'm just doing whatever I really want to this person and not in a cocky way. I wish I could show you the live commentary is very calm, very humble. And this is interesting. I want to ask you guys this, hit the like button, watch the whole video, then leave a comment. Guys, this guy, someone I met in ranked and he, I, pl I played him a few times. I beat him a few times in ranked. I didn't lose to him, but the entire time he was saying that he's better than me and that I'm not good, and he, you know, basically, he wasn't ba that bad about it, as bad as people get, but he was saying that, you know, he, he was not having the losses, and he was saying that I'm actually, that he's better than me, so I, I calmly took him here, and I wanted to show him the diff, the, the skill diff, right, what skill diff looks like in this game, this was October, about a month before Connections came out in 2023, so I was close to my peak. I wasn't quite in my peak yet, but as you can see here, there's a lot of skill-based stuff here. Look at that. The air tilt Chidori stream. Wow. Just to stun him long enough and then continue. There's so many things in this game, like air tilts, tilts in general, air tilts, really interesting and cool jails. That was probably pretty freaking broken. I'm not going to lie, but it was still fun to do. Naruto Storm 4 was really fun if it just took out the glitches, the chakra recovery glitch in itself, even though yes, it is tech. It is a glitch as well that turned into tech. The interesting thing about that, it just allowed for so much spam to happen. A lot of beautiful things in Storm 4. I did end up loving Storm 4 towards the end. That's why I'm making this video to show you, you know, the the work that I put in uh, for about two years in this game and the beautiful things that you can do, the beautiful neutral that you can do. And look at that combo cancel, the bowing combo cancel, counter cancel into Karen. Guys, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely beautiful stuff. I just... Love so many things about this game, but the, the issue is, you know, the issue, they actually, uh, actually, I don't know if they were listening to me or not, but it does sound like they were listening to me because I told them for two years straight, I said, two mans are where it's at, two mans are where it's at. It would be more competitive. It would be more interesting to watch more fun, neutral and all this. I said that the Japanese players in Japan, you know, where the game comes from. Look at that amazing tilt. Oh, I miss it. They play two mans. And what do we get? We get a buff to two mans in connections. We got a buff. Uh, insane, right? We actually got that in the patch notes that cooldown timers on supports are better. But I think maybe some other things may be a little bit better too. I haven't really figured it out completely yet. Um, I still think three mans are a little, just as good, if not a little bit better. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was insane. Who, who does that, bro? I just want to, I'm just so happy and excited to show you this because not in a cocky way, but just, I just love the demonstration of skill and the things that you can do in this game. I just wish they refined it a little bit more, right? Or, or, or just balanced it a little bit more. I do I don't like the slow, sluggish nature of the game. As you can see, there's no chakra here, right? You got to really, ch like, that was a good grab. You have to cherish every little moment. You have to work with every little moment. Even there where you're not getting chakra, right? And you're on the ground. It's like devastating for the person. That was sick. I loved doing that back in the day. 
the super dash into the air fireball. So, uh, you know, it's kind of odd because I have started playing a little bit, like 1% of the time, maybe, maybe less. Three-man teams and connections, I, I will show you that. But at the end of the day, it's still the unstable netcode makes both of these games really unplayable. Like, I can see that this is a steady... Like, if offline is a 10 out of 10, right? I think the best you can ever get online for me personally is like a 9 to a 9.3 or 9.4, maybe 9.5 out of 10. It's never perfect online, but, you know, having 95% or 91% or 90% of how good offline is online would be really good, right? But I tend to not get that. I tend to only get something in the 80% as good and almost always i would say on average i get between 70 to 30 percent as good that's a big range but that's when i say when it's laggy it's like i have like a 5 out of 10 or 50 percent or 55 percent and i'm playing an opponent that has an 85 or 90 percent so it's like they can react better they have more moves on the table um and, and i can't uh, i can't or vice versa i'll be able to react and then they can't and then who wants to watch that because i'm like perfecting them or almost perfecting them right and it's not a real fight so it's interesting this is actually pretty similar i can see we both have around the same i would say connection in the game uh but the thing is is he's he's playing like he's playing for leg right um, and I'm playing skill based, whether the leg comes or not. I have a team that's very like a scalpel, right? That's like a samurai sword, right? Whereas a lot of people build their teams in ranked as if they're, you know, cannons that they're firing off. Uh, it's not, you know, it doesn't have the accuracy that the surgeon would have with a scalpel, right? It's more like, let me use a battering ram or a nuke or something like that. It, they don't really care about the accuracy. They don't really care about the skill. They just care, care about the win and winning. But they don't realize that, yes, you're winning the fight, but it doesn't really mean anything. It's not that meaningful because there's no meaningful interactions, typically, a lot of times, right, in the way that people play. So he might get good results and win a decent amount, but he's not digging deep into that skill reservoir that you can that storm four had and connections has it too but most people do the same thing in connections they decide to just play in a more basic reliable way that will get them the win but the win doesn't really mean much because you know the game would have to be completely balanced and the game would have to have a stable net code for both people and a good level of it. Wow, did you see those switches? Okay, that's enough of that for now. Let's get back into this. So very interesting, as you can see here, I just won every game and I tried to win with skill. That's my tech there, my Chidori into Itachi's Chakra Shuriken tech. I didn't quite pull it off. Look at that bomb tech there. That's also my tech from Storm 3. Back in the day I did that and uh, I did a lot of things popularized and created and discovered a lot of things along the way that people don't know about 10 and 12 years ago actually i i've been around a long time and there's that air tilt oh guys we did it oh but then we dropped it you see that's the difference between having like a 9 or 9.3 right connection where it's like really stable online and then having only like an 8 or 7.8 like this is probably more like a 7.6 or 7.8 right where you're gonna drop certain things you don't have enough frame data to do certain things that trap was crazy but of course some of you might think well there are le higher levels to this sasuke but you know i'm still showing mastery over these characters look at that oh my god at some level right with the connection that's available to me i can go harder with this team but this is still really uh, i would say fun and skilled gameplay to show you guys for what's possible and with every connection level that you have and most people can't determine the difference between connection levels and some because some characters it doesn't matter like like neji shaput and neji he has lag proof and lag resistance i've talked about lag resistance and like being lag proof before certain characters they actually still work in lag almost perfectly if not very close to perfectly whereas other ones like sunati in this game for instance or having kick a pain didn't even pour it into the game properly i was talking about it forever then they actually fixed her so i really think that a lot of my videos have been looked at by CC2 
and CyberConnect to and Bandai and Namco, and I think they actually take my account, uh, my opinion into account at least some of the time. So that's why I started talking more, articulating myself more, and trying to be more professional on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. All the best to all of you.